There's two reasons why I do a cold plunge. One, I don't want to. I don't want to. And one of the most important skills in life is to be able to do the thing you don't want to do and do it anyways. I did not feel the cold. I did not feel negativity. I felt power, inner power. And that inner power, uh, uh, that was uh, uh, just amazing. Today, we're taking a dive into the cold, cold water world. We're talking cold therapy with the legend Wim Hof and a man who's practiced cold therapy for years, Aubrey Marcus. These two people describe why they are using cold therapy and why you should be using cold therapy. Let's dive into the video. There's a lot of research on the physical benefits of cold therapy. There's a variety of different things for inflammatory processes, for immune system, for cold shock proteins, for different hormone regulation. There's lots of cool things. But that's not really why I do a cold plunge. Yes, I'm happy that all that happens, but there's two reasons why I do a cold plunge. One, I don't want to. I don't want to. And one of the most important skills in life is to be able to do the thing you don't want to do and do it anyways. If you can practice that skill of doing that thing that you know is good for you, but you don't want to, then that applies universally to life. That means that you can sit down and do that work that you don't want to do. You can put yourself in this seat and handle this thing. You can wash those dishes you don't want to wash. I don't care. You can have that hard conversation with your partner or your friend or your, you can do all of the things that you don't want to do. Go into that termination meeting yourself with an open heart, whatever that is, it's the same skill. So it's practicing that skill, number one. And number two is I really like going and submerging my head. And that's a big part of cold therapy for me is when I actually get, and it's really the back of your eyelids, when you get those underneath cold water, something triggers called the mammalian dive reflex. And you'll actually hear your pulse go slower and slower and slower and slower. And you'll feel your body go through a shift that's really profound. So if things are busy and chaotic and I'm moving from one thing to the next and my heart rate is elevated because I'm handling a billion things, and then I can get in the cold and for a moment, the whole world slows down. And if the heartbeat is connected to the world, which feels like it is, when your heartbeat slows down like that, then the whole world slows down just for a moment. And that resets everything for me. Again, caveat, if you're going to do this, it's good to have a buddy there to watch you because there is a phenomenon called cold water blackout where you can actually go unconscious in the cold. Be careful of that. But otherwise, the mammalian dive reflex is the second reason why personally I do it. I hope you're enjoying today's video. It was made possible at mulliganbrothers.com where you can now get the new Memento Mori poster and it is a reminder that you are going to die. It has 80 years plotted out of tiny little squares that you shade off every single day, and you are reminded that you will die, and you shade in those boxes, and one day, you will not shade in any more boxes. And if that doesn't get you going, I don't know what will. If you wanna buy the poster, the link is in the description. It's 10% off using code STOIC. Let's dive back into the cold water video. What happened that first day you decided to get into the water? What was the day like? What was the, the decision to get into that water? What was the feeling? It, 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 it was a, a decision after a, a, a feeling, intuitive feeling. Hey, I, I, I felt attraction to the water. And that, uh, uh, that must be my intuition. Feeling, this is good for you, do this. And then I decided to go in. I looked around, Sunday morning, nobody around, could uh, strip myself of clothes, go in, and I was only one minute, one and a half minutes in. But that, that was a complete different sensation. It's like everything in slow motion. And uh, uh, there I felt, this is what I want. Things beyond time, things beyond calculation, things beyond thoughts presence, pure presence, a connection deeply within 
that made me able just to uh, 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 just witness what was going on there inside the water. I did not feel the cold. I did not feel negativity. I felt power, inner power. And that inner power, uh, uh, that was uh, uh, just amazing and uh, amazing moments. I went out, I had a rush for the rest of the day, a part, you know, a rush like drugs, something, something beautiful. Then the other day I came back and the same thing happened. So since then, when you, once you feel uh, uh, yourself good about something, you go back. And this is what I've been doing the last 44 years because it bloody helps and it is straight. It is merciless, but righteous. It brings you to who you are and what you are. No doubt. And depression is not there. You know you are alive and that you don't want to die. You just want to survive. You are there. And then you become connected with that deep feeling, which is there. The urge to live. The purpose of life is living. I 100% agree. So we, um, with the with the people, we interviewed them after they went into the cold water, and everybody had the exact same thing. And it was a they described pure clarity, a clearness of mind, awakeness, awakening. Is that the sort of feelings that you have? Absolutely. That is awakening. That is when the blood flow goes to the deeper parts of the brain. The body takes over. It wants to adapt to the aggressive cold. It's an aggressive force. It is like danger. So when the danger comes in, then the body takes over. Like when you see a snake in front of you, a poisonous snake, directly, <gasps> you know, that is adrenaline. That is the brain stem. And the brain stem is the most primitive part of our brain, the oldest part of our brain. And normally, because we always live in comfort zone behavior, we always choose with our mind where to go. When it is warm, we put on the coal. When it is cold, we put on the heater. Uh, when, when we need to go somewhere, we go in a car. And, uh, and, and some exercise will be there, but the brainstem needs danger. And coal is dangerous. And when that happens, then, then directly it makes connection with the depth of your brain. And then uh, if you go regularly into the cold, then you get a hold of it. Then neurologically, you will get a, a, a neurological connection with that what is without thoughts. That is pure, it's clear, clear as water, and it's powerful. That is your being. So the cold is not about being tough, it's about learning to get a hold of what is going on in the mind, to get clarity, to just be, to feel the purpose of life itself, there, without label. No, no, it's like good wine. Good wine doesn't need a label. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna post Aubrey Marcus's and Wim Hof stuff down below. Excited to tell you this. We're doing a project with Wim Hof. Uh, we're booked in to go film in the Netherlands with Wim Hof in the next few months. So if you have any questions or anything that you want to know about, please comment down below. If you want to see behind the scenes vlogs of those uh, Wim Hof videos and our other projects, become a channel member with the join button down below where you get an exclusive behind the scenes look of what we get up to. And also, if you want to support us at mulliganbrothers.com, the link is in the description. And if you use code STOIC right now on the poster, you get 10% off at checkout and it's a reminder that you are going to die and if you wake up every single day and you see that poster and you are not motivated to live a passionate unfulfilled life i don't know what's going to work guys have a blessed and productive day and i'll see you in the next one peace